Hello everybody, it's Rosemary here. Hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to another tutorial from me using Lavinia stamps. Today's card I've called Dragons at Stone Castle on All Hallows Eve. The equipment you will need is as follows. I've done a 13 and a half square multifarious card topper using cream multifarious card. Um, the stamps that we will use are the sac Sacred Tree. This stamp from the Silhouette Foilage set, which is one of the new stamps. The Dragon set, the Star Mini Group and the Dragon Stone Castle. We'll also be using Versafine ink and antique linen, aged mahogany and spiced marmalade, distress inks. Um, some Lavinia Stamps Moon Dust, um, a yellow glitter pen, um, a clear jelly roll pen and a um, quickie glue pen. We'll also need our blending brushes and the small heels from the acetate heel masks and the medium circle mask from the circle mask set and old faithful is a piece of acetate i use quite a lot so to start with we're going to take a piece of card and we're going to use aged mahogany distress ink with our blending brush and we're also going to place our small mask on our card. Oops, turn it over, I've got ink on my finger. Sorry about that. So I'm going to place that just there. I'm holding it down with a piece of um, low tech masking tape. I'm going to load up my brush and I gently tap off my ink over there and then using circular motion come in and ink up my whole card using my aged mahogany. I'm doing this card for the Lavinia Stamps Halleganza and I hope you enjoy this video tutorial and I hope you're enjoying the extravaganza. I think this is the third one that the stamps have done and they're quite fun things to be doing. The ink does eventually soak into the card and it will look totally different once it's dry. So I don't worry so much now if I get like these streaks in. What I'm going to do now is carry on loading up my brush. I'm going to do the halo of my moon now before I use my orange ink. Because I want it to really stand out. So I'm using my aged mahogany. So that's that part, that's the my age of mahogany. Then I'm going to take my spiced marmalade distress ink. Just get a piece of acetate there. I'm going to get my brush. I'm just using a dry cloth to rub off some of that ink there. And then I'm going to go round some of my card with the orange distress ink. I'm going to try and get some in this area here coming up. So 
that's my orange. I'm going to tone that back down by going over again with my aged mahogany. Just on where I'd use the orange. Just using what I'd rubbed off earlier. I'm going to use my black archival with my black blending brush and I'm just going to gently go over this area here to give it a sort of misty feeling so I'm just rubbing very very gently you see the lines in the card to bring my misty area up around the top as well once it soaks into the card it doesn't show as much let me show you on this one so so i've got my sort of misty dark area come around the edge Gives it a nice toned effect of different colours. The next thing we're going to do is use some water. I just spray it into my hand and then clap my hands over my card to get some splashes and then lift with a piece of kitchen roll. There we go. So that's that part done. Now I'm going to get my yellow brush and my antique linen. And I'm going to take off my mask. I'm going to load my brush up again and dab off and then I'm just going to oops, rub the antique linen to turn down the brightness of my moon. Here we go. So that's that part finished. The next thing I'm going to do is use my black again and I'm going to get my hill mask and I'm going to mask off I just want to see how high up my castle needs to be on the little hill that it's going to sit on. So I just think about there. So I'm just going to hold that in place. And using my versa mark, I'm going to load up my brush. Oops and gently do the bottom part first. And I'm going to just brush down. Make sure I get that edge covered. Yep. I'm going to lift it straight up and move it away from there. 
wipe off my stencil. And I'm going to clean up this with some hand gel. So now we can start our stamping. So the first thing we need to do is get our stamping platform. Place our card on our stamping platform. And then place our stamp. Making sure that it's nice and straight and that it's sitting on the hill. And there we go. And we'll ink up our stamp. Using our Versafine Black Onyx. Very popular ink for stamping. And then we'll just gently press the ink into our card, giving it a few seconds to soak in, pressing in all the areas. to move in case I needed to re-stamp it. And there we are. Got a little bit of too much excess ink there but that can be used as part of the shadow. So I'm not too worried about that. The next thing I'm going to do is to stamp my words so I'm going to use my acrylic book and my small little mat I'm going to still using versifying clear uh, versifying I'm going to use second generation in the background. So I'm going to stamp that there. And then I'm coming over this side and stamping there. And same again, I'm going to stamp in third generation this time. I'm going to stamp there and then stamp my words there. And that, that's it for the, my stamping of my words. And the next thing I'm going to stamp is my tree which I'm also going to use on a stamping block I'm going to ink up my tree to line up my tree with the 
base of my heel and stamp and press and leave it just soaking to the cord. Getting there. So, so far, that's our stamping done so far. Now we'll stamp the dragons. So, once again, I'm going to use my little stamping mat and my acrylic block. And the first dragon I'm going to stamp is the one with the longer tail. I think I'll use a smaller acrylic block this time. And I'm going to have him sort of flying off into the night sky. And he's going to be flying off above the tree. Soaking, and there we go. And then dragon number two, oops, okay, this is a very juicy ink pad, it's a new ink pad. It's very juicy, so too much has gone underneath onto the other side of the stamp. So we'll wipe that off and start again with that bit of stamping. I think I pressed too hard. And that's what I'll do is I'll test it first. Perfect. Okay. I hope you can hear me okay. I seem to be talking quite low this evening. I don't know why. I'll to try and raise my voice a little bit. And I'm going to have this dragon coming in here. We only have a little bit more stamping to do and we're going to use this new flower from the silhouette foliage set which came out about a few weeks ago so I'm going to put one coming in here and then I'm going to have one in the centre like that and then oh, put it again and then my third one going to be just at the end of my tree there we go. okay so that 
that's nearly all our stamping done so there's just one more little bit of stamping that doesn't involve a black ink pad and it's our little mini star set And we're going to use a glitter pen and we're going to brush over our stars. Gently making sure that each one is covered. And then I found it better to do this second generation as well because sometimes they come out as blobs. So we'll stamp the first one. And we'll stamp in that corner. You can't hardly see them. But they are there in the background. I don't want them to stand out too much. Okay, one there. They actually lighten up as they soak into the ink and you can see them more clearly. So you want an odd number, so you want three or five sets of these. I'm going to do five. Can't have one there. One, two, three, four, and I'm going to put a set there as well. So that's my five sets of stars. The, next, the reason I, I put the glitter down is if you want to go over your stars with a quickie glue pen, you can use some Lavinia glitter. This one I use because it's got some lovely autumn Halloween-y colours in it and it sparkles beautifully where the stars are. So and you, when it's dry you can just brush it off. Oops. 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 There we go. You just brush off the excess when it's dry and you have a lovely sparkly stars in the sky. So you've got that option as well if you want to do that. So I thought I'd add the glitter to that one to show you. Okay. Um, the other option you've got is to go over your stars with your um, jelly roll pen. And that will also make them sparkle more. So that gives you two options of how to... Make your stars stand out. I think I'll go over mine with the pen. Right, so the next thing we need to do is to colour in our castle to let us know that there's some people there setting up for Halloween tomorrow. So I've got a very fine paintbrush and I'm taking my yellow sparkle pen and releasing some of the ink watercolour. This is a watercolour. You don't have to use a sparkle. Ooh, you don't have to use a sparkle pen. I believe I just did that. And a little bit of water just to pick it up with. And we're just going to paint over our windows with a yellow watercolour ink.
and then we need to um, make our shadow for our castle. So we need our, we'll use the, we'll use the archival, archival ink and I'll go back to my little black one and then we'll just bring our shadow down just using our brush to make it look like the castle shadow. can see that yep. I hope you're enjoying the Halaganza I think it was a great idea if um, the staff at um, within your stamps wonderful idea really um, something totally different that we've uh, not done before and the last thing we need to do before we oh I've got to colour my tree sorry I've coloured my tree with yellow ink as well forgot about that so once again we'll spray some water on our yellow ink and just Quickly paint our tree. So there we go. So the last thing to do before we do our shadowing of the background is to just highlight our castle with our clear gel pen it gives brings a bit of sparkle And then the moon. And then the very last thing we need to do is to make more mess with the black. misplaced my black brush I don't know who they are but I have another one I'll use this one and just oops, like that. I like the edge of our card in black as usual just to bring our eye into the centre We only have a little tiny space here to craft in and I lose I lose everything. I never know where anything is until I start putting it all away.
and that's our card finished and then we mount it up and this one it's the same size card 13 and a half inch 13 and a half centimeter square topper and it's placed on an 8 by 8 blank card mounted with black and white backing take care stay safe and i'll see you soon